Hey everyone, Jeff with half Fast Gaming here. That is correct, you do see Blender open in front of you on your screen. And I'm doing a little tutorial today on uh, getting a part or accessory into Blender. What you need to do to change it, move things around, what have you and then export it appropriately to get it to work on your truck and game. Okay, so let's start out with, this is of course assuming that you have already installed all the SCS tools, importer, exporter. Uh, there is a instructional video on how to do that of, on the YouTube page, Blender 2 SES. Um, I will leave a link to it in the video. It is very quick. There is no talking. So you need to uh, be very mindful of pressing pause and rewinding and pause and rewind and pause and rewind until you get it down right. Um, I may do one of those at some point but right now I'm I don't really want to mess with how I've got it set up because it's taken too long to get to this point to start with so moving on file import SCS soft model ETS2 it's a dot PMD file okay so Earlier today, I was working on a horn for the uh, W900ARC. Okay, so what you want to do is set your base path. Again, that is all shown. Uh, this is all shown to you in the uh, Blender 2 SES video. Essentially, you need to extract the SES base files and place them in a folder. I have done so here on the D drive, D colon slash SCS base. Okay, you also have to set your mod path. I've extracted the mod that I'm using to D colon slash SCS mod slash Kenworth W900. Okay, these are very important things that you need to do. If you don't do these things, you can export all you want and you will have nothing. So these are very important things. Set the base path right here. Set the mod path here. Okay? So I want to import this horn R-01 PMD. All right? So we're going to import. Now it's going to take a few seconds to do that. Uh, depending on the, the size of the thing that you're importing. All right. So here's the horn. Um, I'm holding down my middle mouse button to rotate around. Okay. This has all of the textures uh, and materials included. This up here is a hierarchy of what you have in the scene in front of you. Um, the light diffuse, the light specular, the horn definition, and then the individual models with the associated textures on the horn. Okay, so my goal was to take this horn and make it flat. As you can see, it was built for a truck that has a sloped day cab. Okay, I need to bring that down so it's level. Right? So, here's what we're going to do. If you adjust this top line here, horn R underscore zero one, 
you will mess everything up. So do not move that anywhere. What you need to do is move the individual pieces of the horn themselves. Okay? So, you can see right here is the Hadley symbol. So, I don't want to move that just yet because we know where that goes. It goes in the middle of the back of that piece. Let's move something a little bigger. There we go. So, the actual trumpet part. All right, so again, I'm just holding the middle mouse button around, uh, down, and swiveling the mouse around so I can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so we got to figure out which direction we need to go. So here's your rotation up here. So is it Z? Let's see. Nope, that is going to the right. It's actually rotating around its center this way, like so. So we don't want to do that. Okay. Let's see, is it Y? Nope, that's rotating around the center over here, so that's not it either. So it's got to be X. Oh, there it goes. It's starting to go down, right? So basically sit on this thing and wait until... It's about at where you want it. I only know this because I've already done it before, but it's about six degrees. We'll call it five and a half. Okay, so you've moved this five and a half negative degrees, this model. Okay, so all you have to do now is if you're happy with that, right, come over here. I want to move this base down, right? So we're going to move this down five and a half degrees. Right? So there you go. You're about touching that green line. I mean, you can really go down, probably go down 0.7. We'll go back over here, go down to 0.7. All right, so now we just need to move the Hadley model. So go back up there, select that. And you don't have to do this. You can, I want negative 5.7. There you go. Okay. So now we've moved this down level. Now, this is the part that nobody tells you. Right here, after you move that, you're not changing anything about the model yet. That's not its center point yet. As you can see, the green line is not perpendicular to the plane right now. It is facing backwards at six degrees. Well, you want this to be its natural resting point at zero. So what you have to do is apply location and rotation. Okay, so you press that button. You'll see this has now moved to a 90 degree direction. And you have to do that to all of these. So you've moved this. Good. Apply. It's moved again. And model point two. Apply. Okay. So now this is its center. You can see the rotation has changed to zero. This is now its resting point. That's it. We are done. Now you want to export this. So you get a file. Export. SCS soft model ETS2, which is a .pmd. I 
I named it horn r underscore zero two up here. You can really name it whatever you want because when you export it, it exports it as the same name that you put it into. However, here is thing number two that nobody tells you is the export origin directory. When you're exporting this file as a PMD, internally and through the PMG, it is referencing the file structure of SES. If you do not put this mapping in here correctly, you will get zero textures or materials on your accessory. Okay, so in this case, this is vehicle truck upgrade horn Peter underscore 389 because it's out of the Peterbilt 389. And that is the folder it's going to go in. If you don't put that in there, or you put something else like home or whatever these files are going to be written looking for the incorrect um, texture area it's going to be looking in a folder that doesn't exist in the file structure and it will not give it any textures and then you will have the big red test uh, you know color on that accessory Okay, so that's what we do. We hit export SCS model up here, and we're we're done. Now let me show you where it ends up. Okay, so here's where we're at. Here's my mods folder: Kenworth W900 vehicle truck upgrade horn Peter 389. Now you're like, well. This says 823 2015. You didn't do anything with that. Right. But when I saved it, I saved it to that directory. So it creates the directory again for you. And here. So you haven't overwritten the original file, which is nice. Granted, you end up with a lot of extra files. And I'm sure you can do it another way where you're only doing it directly in the mod folder, but this is nice to keep backups of the originals that you're working with. So now, you open up your mod that you're working on th through, you know, 7-zip or whatever. You drag and drop at least these two files, if not the materials and textures, depending on if anything else changed. I would probably copy everything that you need to drop it into your uh, mod that you're working on. In my case, it would be the Kenworth W900. So I would essentially take all of this, copy it, put it right back in here, overwriting this. Zip the mod back up, check it out in game. So, that is about as quick a tutorial as you can get on um, moving stuff in the game to fit on a truck or other device. Um, and that's a quick rotation of this particular horn. Um, I've only worked with a bumper so far other than this. But again, it's just all about placement um, on the vehicle. Once you test it, you can come right back in here and make further adjustments. Um, if I need to go back up a couple of degrees, you know, I went too far. Now this is zeroed out, so you know that this is, you know, where you thought you wanted it. You can go right back up and pull this up off the plane or you know push it even further down depending on the cabin or whatever you're sticking it on um so 
that is uh that's all there is to that so i hope this helps you guys out uh you really got to kind of unleash the the tools and dive into these mods and kind of figure stuff out uh this this is just a little thing that i've learned just today after spending about seven and a half hours doing a couple of bumpers in this horn on a truck um so you know practice makes perfect they say so i'm working towards that goal i wanted to keep you guys informed as well of you know the little things that i learn on the way um so if you're looking for more tutorials or more sneak peeks of trucks that AMT is working on or things that I find out there, uh, I would appreciate a sub and or a like. Thanks guys so much. We will catch you next time on Half-Fast Gaming.